How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brad, the DC Universe Geek, and over the past few days, a few different action figure pre-orders have come across my desk that have piqued my interest. One is a Beast Kingdom Superman figure in the 8-inch scale with cloth goods clothing and cloth goods cape, and the other one is a Metacom Mayfex hush-styled Harley Quinn action figure. We shouldn't really be surprised that Mayfex is releasing Harley Quinn with their hush line because A, it seems like they're going to release every major character from that storyline at some point. Maybe not the larger ones, but definitely the, the smaller figures. So I'm sure at some point we can expect to see Tim Drake and probably Nightwing. They've already released two different Batmans. A Superman, they've released, uh, well, they're going to release the Joker. They have released Catwoman. Hush is also on the way. So I'm sure that there will be more characters coming from Hush. And to me, it's no surprise that the next one is Harley Quinn because she's a very, very popular character, well-loved with the fans, and she's absolutely a moneymaker. Now, we're going to come back to Harley Quinn in just a moment. We're going to look at those pictures in just a second, but let's come back to Superman and dwell on him for a second. I was definitely surprised to see that Beast Kingdom did have other DC characters based on their comic book appearances, some from very specific licenses under their belt. They're probably able to do this because they're eight inch in scale and they're doing them in their very own way. I began to see images of the Dark Knight Returns Batman. And then there was also a classic comic book version of Batman. And we have, I believe there was a Dark Knight Returns Batman with Carrie Kelly. There is a black suited Superman that they have planned for release. But the one that stoked my interest the most was the fact that I saw they had a classic comic book version of Superman planned. Of course, that's gonna be very high up on my list of things to get, the to get list. Now over here on Beast Kingdom's website here, we can see that this figure is gonna go for 86 99 that's going to be the price for it so what do you get for that price is this going to be a figure that is worth 86.99 now i know a lot of people are going to say no figures worth that much and i'm kind of past that i know it's the times that's how much things cost people got to get paid for their work people got to make money they got to make profit out of it i'll pay 86.99 for an eight inch scale version of superman with cloth goods everything i just hit my other beast kingdom superman so first, let's look at some images of this figure. We can see that this Superman, just looking at the very first shot, you get two different heads. You get the regular head sculpt, like the straightforward head sculpt, and then you get a head sculpt that looks very, very upset, and has, but it has light up eyes function. Everyone seems to want to go with pissed off red heat vision eyes Superman as another head sculpt, but no one wants to do the smiling face, which to me seems like you're totally missing the character of Superman. Smiling, stern, angry. That should be the baseline for Superman head sculpts. Smiling, stern, angry. And we'll get a closer look at those head sculpts in just a few seconds as we look at, at more pictures, but we also see that he's going to come with some kryptonite chains and a bunch of different hands and also a Superman action figure base. The next shot shows us a bit more of what the figure would look like up close with the kryptonite chains wrapped around him at this with this shot his his outside undies and his belt area they're definitely looking a little bit diaperish a little bit bulky not something that i'm super into here then next we have a picture of old soups just standing there by himself and that looks really good pictures like this of the figure actually do quite a bit to get me more stoked about the product the cape is tucked into the shirt the S is big and bold. His trunks are looking, at least with this shot, a lot less diaper-ish. I'm sure the finished product we get won't look as good as this. this someone has manicured this before the shot, but still, and I'm, I'm still quite stoked about it. Next, we got another shot of Superman just standing there, but it's up close, and we can see that the emblem on his chest is actually thinner than in the previous one. If I just go back to it, you can see that it's actually thicker the rubber is actually thicker, and on this one, it's clearly thinner. And it seems like they've gotten the belt area under control more at the top of the briefs. Maybe, maybe not just me, but it definitely seems like they've got two different figures that they've taken product shots of. Here we have an image of Superman standing in someone's hand. At this point, I don't think that it's actually standing in that guy's hand. This is clearly a Superman that's been superimposed, photoshopped onto this dude's hand, because it's the same picture as this one over here. <laughs> it's exactly the same. But that's they're trying to give you an idea of the scale. Then we got a really 
good close-up image of fired up soups. My god. That that really is about the angriest I've seen a Superman head sculpt ever in my life. He just looks so pissed. It looks good though. It looks good. I'll never pose him with this head sculpt, but while I'm making the video, it's gonna be for some it's gonna make for, for some awesome action figure photography. And the eyes light up, so I hope they light up nice and bright. And again, that chest logo looks nice and thin. It looks better every time we get a look at it. I really like that a lot. Next, we've got an image of Superman flying. Again, this, this image is really doing justice to the figure. Although, again, you can see the trunks area is looking kind of loose, baggy, and diaperish. I'm sure those of us who get into customizing will fiddle with that a little bit to make it look just a little bit better. Seems like it's going to be kind of a, a challenge for a lot of people, just the same as the Sideshow Collectible Superman had a really diaperish waist on that figure as well. Here we have an image of Superman flying. That's a great shot. And that really does a lot to bring out the figure. And again, I want to point out too, this figure clearly, you can see, is going to have a lot of articulation. It's going to have waist, torso, shoulders, bicep swivels, uh, double jointed elbows, highly articulated wrist, double jointed knees, a really well articulated groin and ankle articulation, and probably, probably thigh cuts because that is... That is Beast Kingdom's way with their with these DC figures and these big ones. So he's gonna have a lot of articulation. No problem with posability there. And then we have an image of the back of Superman. You can see his cape. It's the, they are going with a narrow cape. They're not going with a wide cape that then you then have to shove and tuck over his shoulders. They are, by the looks of it, gonna go with a narrower cape. It just makes it easier to control. And then for the final image, we have Superman just sort of floating there. And again, this this is a shot that, that really brings out the potential with this figure. If you're a Superman fan like myself, I would be excited about this figure if I was you. I'm, well, I am excited about it, and I'm not you. I'll definitely be picking this one up. It, now, it is slated to come out in April of 2022. In other words, in just under a year from now, this bad boy is supposed to be released. Let's read the details of this guy. This looks like a job for Superman. Of all the superheroes brought to life in the golden era of comics, Superman stands as the champion of all that is just and true. An alien from the planet Krypton, stranded in Kansas City, he gr uh, no. <laughs> he wasn't stranded in Kansas City. <laughs> Lost in translation, so they say. He grows up to be a hero for all the human race. Faster than a speeding bullet, and more powerful than a locomotive. You could pause to read the rest if you'd like to. I'm not going to go through it all. We all know the history of Superman. And of course, there is the more information section here. And I just wanted to highlight that, yeah, expected release date is April 2022. That's a long way away to wait, but hey, we've waited longer for less cooler things to come out. So we just gotta sit tight. But speaking of things that are planned to be released in April of 2022, we've also got that Metacom Mafex Harley Quinn action figure. Let's go take a look at that now. Wow, so here we are at their product list. They release a ton of stuff and they're very quickly becoming my favorite action figure company. Their Harley Quinn offering looks really promising as is everything they've done for the Hush action figure line. I feel like, in my opinion, Mafex has released the best stuff in the last year. As much as I really enjoyed Todd's stuff, I think overall, in general, if you're a six inch collector and you liked highly articulated action figures based pretty reliably off of the appearance of certain storylines, in this case, Hush, but not limited to, we also have Nightfall, uh, coming our way. We also have the death and return of Superman coming our way. And of course, we know that Mafex has been and will continue to release figures based on the Dark Knight Returns. These figures are certainly some of the best. They're expensive, you're going to pay for it, but they're certainly some of the best. So the first shot is just Harley standing there with her hammer over her shoulder with one of the face sculpts that she's going to come with, because you'll see that she comes with three. I'm just going to go through the pictures in order. Looks, I just, she looks really, really great. They they nail it with their figures. And the next shot, oh, there's Harley with the hammer. Shh, same face sculpt. Got a better look at that hammer. There's the figure just standing there. 
looking like she's standing there in a you know, neutral face, neutral hands. Here's the same figure, but from behind, neutral, just standing there. This is the shot that has all three of the head sculpts. So neutral, angry, and cheeky. I don't know. I, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to have... I think I'll probably pose her with the cheeky and not the straight face. The straight face looks good, but I'll probably pose her with the cheeky face. To me, that's Harley. She's, she's kind of off the wall, and that face really shows it. And then we got another iconic pose of Harley there, straight out of the comic books, leaning forward. You can see she's got a lot of articulation points, as we would expect, because she's a Mafex figure. Oh, and then there's the extra feet with the springs on the bottom. They're showing us that she's got the spring shoes. Very cool. And you'll see that again when we get to the accessories that she comes with. She doesn't come with that many, but she does, the ones that she does come with, they're relevant. And then we have another shot of her looking very perturbed with her hammer over her shoulder. That's a great shot. It really brings out the overall look of this figure. It really brings that out. And then finally we have an image again of the hammer and the spring shoes. Those look like wooden Dutch shoes from here with springs on the bottom. So there we have it as far as the Harley Quinn. I will say this, I do feel like they kind of missed one important accessory and that's that Harley Quinn should always come with her mallet, like her hammer, and then a pop gun of some kind. Some kind of large exaggerated firearm. I think when you include both of those accessories, I think you've got your bases covered. But overall, I think she's she is fantastic, and she's slated to be released as well next April. But anyway, what do you guys think? Are you interested in either of these two figures, the Superman or the Harley, or possibly both? I know that both of these April releases, I absolutely plan on picking up. For the Harley Quinn, you can order her all over the place currently. Apparently, it's Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, and of course, Hobby Link Japan. I'll be ordering mine from Hobby Link because that's where I order most of my Mayfex stuff, and they tend to get it to me fast, and they don't charge you until they ship it, and it's always really great service from Hobby Link. As far as the Beast Kingdom, uh, I pre-ordered mine from their website, so I'm sure you'll be able to pick it up as well from Big Bad Toy Store because I did order my Batman from Big Bad Toy Store, but those are lo some of the locations you can find these at. Anyway, what do you think? Like I asked, do you like one? Do you like both? Do you hate them? Let me know down in the comments section below. Let's get a conversation started, and I will see you next time. Have a good day, super friends. Take care.